All right, guys, sorry about that. Cut off, ran out of recording space, but we're all set now. But, um, yeah. So I'm looking, right? And this young girl, who you never would have thought anything of, is taking pictures of my, uh, my organite that's on my dash. And it's so obvious as hell. She's turned all the way over. And she's got her camera pointed at my, my all the organs on my dash, and, and she's taking pictures. And then as soon as she sees that I, I see what she's doing, she, boom, she turns around real quick and she sits down. And uh, but I just want to tell y'all, that's the crazy psychopath that we're dealing with right now. That they're trying to do anything just to get, like, one one step ahead of us. That's the kind of crazy shit that they're doing. So what they can do once they have pictures of you, yourself, or something of yours, they use that in a way to curse, witchcraft, spell, you know, whatever, all this evil shit that they do to people. Uh, that's what they do. And they've been doing that through me, to me the whole, like, all this since this started back in 2009. They've been doing that kind of stuff to me since then it's it's really uh ridiculous like i'll be driving down one time i was driving down the street of my neighborhood and uh i'm just driving by this this young kid and the kid has his cell phone out and he's uh he's taking a picture of me or video of me or something you know as i'm i'm driving by and it's just been stuff like that like all all kinds of uh crazy stuff like that you know it's it's really it's really messed up and like when they uh had me in the jails and uh had me on you know medicine that i you know was basically being forced to take uh they have a requirement you know they have to take your your blood every three months or whatever and uh man i don't i now that i know like what they do i would never ever ever give the government or anybody any kind of uh, a bodily sample of you because once they have your DNA and they they have your blood or they have anything they'll uh, they can attack you through that they can get the samples of your blood and uh, radiate it um, nanotech it put curses spell and witchcraft on it to mess up your DNA and to kill you, like to try to give you a harmful disease to, to kill you. Uh, they really are fucking psychopathic murderers. And, but that's okay, because their time is coming up soon. They're only getting scared because their time is, is, is ending. So that's why they do shit like come sit next to you and take pictures of your organs because that's how scared they are of light. That's how much light freaks them out, you guys. So make that organ, gift that organ, get that organ out there, man. The sooner y'all do that, the more y'all do that, the sooner we'll be done with them. And, uh, and they're seeing, you know, everything we do, they're seeing and they're strategizing how to stop us. So the best way, like what I have learned, is whatever you're doing, do a lot of it and do it every day. That's how you get ahead of them. Like when you go out here and you gift, like, uh, Let's say you made like 24 or 40 Tower Busters and you went out and you, you gifted all those in one day. And wow, you know, you saw the difference. It's you, everybody knows what it's like when you gift it. You see for yourself what happens. Um, as soon as they see what you did, boom, they got their trucks and their people out there try to undo what you did. So the best way is it's, it's all about momentum. You've got to keep the momentum up. Don't think, oh, I can go ahead and just gift these 12, uh, 12 and these towers around me and haha, I saved the world and everything is done. Nah, it's, it's not like that. It's a, it's a constant thing because they're constantly trying to stop us. So we're having to constantly try to stay ahead. That's, that's what we're trying to do. And then once we get that mo momentum going, then we overcome them, which is what I basically had done. Before they arrested me, I had the momentum and I was kicking their ass. And uh, it freaked them out. It really did. And they did that shit to me at the Walmart, which is old news, but um, just to show you, that's how psychopathic they are and that's how much they hate light. And 
So now because of what they did, taking away two years of my life, because they're cheaters, and they're doing all this other stuff now, they kind of like studied my moves when I was, uh, you know, locked up. They had two years to study me real good to figure out, you know, what made me tick and what, what gave me the jump on them, you know. And they planned accordingly for when I got out. So I'm just grateful that I know how to make real powerful devices. Because that's what actually has led me to be making such powerful devices is, is to deal and combat. I understand what kind of technology they have because it's being used against me. So since I understand and know what they have, I make things so powerful that it's going to help me for what I'm going through. So that's the kind of organ I sell. You know, it's, it's really above what others are doing. I know because I've purchased others and uh, I, I can measure the, you know, the energy because I'm sensitive to it. You know, it's, there's just no comparison with the stuff that I'm doing, like with the salt and uh, with the painting them and adding the neodymium magnets, you know, making them, you know, powered, you know, with the Mobius coil, with, you know, the frequency generators, um, just doing things that people really aren't doing, the, the, just more than that, really to help other people out, to really give everybody a, a kind of a jump, because when you get one of these, you'll see, like one of the big gold ones, they're so powerful that whenever one of them goes up, wherever I've sold one to somebody, the, it's, it's beautiful and sunny here. Because uh, all the organite is connected. So it's like this. It's like I'm putting all these organites all across the earth, right? So when the sun hits that organite, whatever sun that I have organite that I've sold somewhere, if the sun is hitting that organite, then that organite is sending its light to all my other organites. And then it's just a big, uh, it's just a big chain reaction. Everything is connected. So... Because all my organites are getting all this light, which all the people in that area are getting all this light, now all of mankind, everything, all life is getting this light because all is connected. So, uh, I guess that's why they hate my organite so much, because it creates so much light and that it makes like a really huge effect all across the world just when one of these big ones are sold. And not even the big ones, just the regular power ones, they're, they're powerful as hell. You know, so many people tell me that, you know, there's, or whoever has one of these powered organites, you know, the chemtrails, it's hard for them to work, and it's always a big blue dome or a blue, big blue sky around their house. So, anyways, um, I just wanted to share that information with y'all that that's how crazy they are and the crazy stuff that they're doing just to, uh, to try to, to, to get ahead and, um, we need to work harder. We need to work harder, man. If if you're not get gifting uh, organite, you know, just look up violet flame decrees. And violet flame decrees are decrees that help raise the vibration of the planet yourself. It helps. It gives healing, just like organite gives healing to everything. It's like the same kind of healing. Okay, it's just a spiritual energy. It's the complete opposite of the uh, chemtrails and the dark stuff that's being used against us so it just knocks it out so when you say those violet flame decrees uh, you'll see it looks be more beautiful outside people are happier you're happier you know everything is sm rolling good everything is uh, you're, when you do something positive right to try to help the earth and help people that returns to you a thousandfold you're, you're building up light, you're building up energy, positive energy for you and your purpose for being here on the planet. You're here to help, to help your brothers and sisters, help the earth, to do good things. So do those things and build that light for yourself and you're benefiting nobody but yourself because you're going to see, you're gonna have, when you say violet flame decrees or any kind of prayers and decrees, you have more money, uh, more positive relationships. Uh, more positive every aspect and angle of your life is going to be more positive when you're saying these decrees because your mouth and what you say think do or feel is creating your reality 
So when you're saying positive things, you're creating positive things in your reality. If you're always thinking negatively and uh, you can't see the end of the tunnel kind of deal, well, you're going to get more of that until you change your perception. So the decrees help you to change your perception. They give you a better understanding. Um, you know, you get more knowledge, you understand things more by reading these and it just it's just another uh, opens another door like a spiritual pathway for you to uh, better yourself spiritually you know enlighten yourself and to, to build energy build light and help everybody so that's that's a great way for you to help if you can't gift organite then just say the prayers and decrees every day you know that's it doesn't take you what get up in 15 minutes a day when you get up every day and 15 minutes before you uh, you go to bed and if you like it, you know, do it more. If, if that's all you can handle right now, then just start with that. So, I love y'all guys. Uh, thanks for joining me for another video. And I'll see you next video. Love y'all. Bye.